They are able to put up a pretty nice protection line with the Braum, which is what they did play with the Ziggs previously, so that can still be good. I just feel like the Karma Ziggs, as far as the team and his ability to read the enemy jungler and outplay him early, was not able to read that early dive by Rainover, wasn't punished for it, and we're going to see if he can now punish as oh, they go mid. Oh, they're getting Cocoon. Piglet actually going to tie him up. That's first blood for the rise. Caster Curse, baby. As soon as I say Lyra's been having the good early games, Piglet just had mid. All these players kind of getting caught, although Matt is low, and that's not a good oh, recall not spot. A good spot. He does have flash. Could be a bait. He's going to try and snare him. That's a flash out for Lyra. Jin ult. You could see the Cocoon going to land in there as well. Lyra goes down to Rainover. Oh my goodness, he was so juicy down there. Beautiful victory damage, and it's gonna lead to a bit oh, of a fight no, here. Oh no, double if that's not what you wanna be. Ulti comboed in there from the Braum and the Ziggs, but still living for a little Ooh. while longer. Flash out of the bomb, but Lyra blows him away. Matt goes down to Graves. And that kill is on Matt. He... I've seen this one before. It did not work out. Hookshot landing Cocoon is great there on the ultimatums in. Piglet, Realm Wops up to try and finish the job, and Lolo takes out Seraph. Yeah, and he just speeds up his return to the jungle. Thank you very much. Some vision of this starting, but Team Liquid half first to the area. Envy in position to defend, though. But he's going down quickly. In fact, too quickly. Rainover not even going to use the fight uh -oh. that I don't think he has, but double if he's going to get stunned. Lyra, big ultimate, and the exhaust won't save him. Now Matt's going to get chased down. As Apollo is busy taking down turrets, Envy getting a big trade off of this, and Matt is going to go down as well. Seraph gets the last auto and picks up the double. And that's huge as far as being able to counter the split push, but fight's continuing mid. Rainover low. Lolo takes out Apollo on the other side. Looks like top lane's where that action is, but Ninja and Rainover going to walk away slowly. All right, this game's just got a little bit crazy. How could Apollo die to the Looking for a flank, Hakawa cocooned up. And now the Jin Ultimate's gonna be committed. Ninja is the target if they can find him. Piglet is wailing away a Mac, taking a decent amount of damage. Dive not gonna be there. Seraph TP's in to save the day. And now Piglet getting exhausted. Envy again just gonna turn around. Double ult there from Seraph. Good, good as Ninja just lets loose Apollo. Looking for the shutdown, but the poppy goes down to rise. Now Ninja still chasing in, wants Rainer, but Double did a lot of damage with that false shot. That was a wonky trade, three for two for two in the bottom lane as people TP in everywhere. Yeah, kind of crazy. It looked like Team Liquid was favored, but the scaling definitely feels Lorelo favored right now as he's just diving. Great up tower diving here. Good flash from Seraph, but Lolo follow flash Whoa, just slam into the wall. Might actually make it work for Seraph. Hook shots there. Lyra takes him out, and Apollo doesn't get the snipe, but nice save from Envy. Yeah, definitely not a clean ending. To Gets two. Exhaust onto Lyra. Piglet over the wall actually flashed in there. It's actually still dealing damage. Now Baron, he's gotten angry. Apollo's going to get the kill onto Piglet. And Jin's going to try and find a few snipes, but Seraph's going to eat the rest of them. Taking a lot of damage. Yeah, Disengage finally coming. Apollo with a decent ult. Almost takes out Matt Piglet on the front line. Also taking a big amount of damage, but the Zonis will save him from the Graves ulti. Not enough to get him out of it, though, as Apollo now on a killing spree takes down the Rise. Envy's still chasing acceleration. It's going to move them forward. Here's double if though. Trying to snipe down Seraph. Harko is the first one. Lyra gets tagged on the other side. Going to still try and shoot them down. Seraph eats the crit bullet. It's a little lower here. Apollo and Harko are knocked up by the Baron. Envy might be committing to actually take it down, but Rainer could get in there. Piglet actually the target. They want to chase him down. Seraph gets Lolo and Apollo with another good three man ulti. Gets AoE down. Piglet now trapped. He's going to get exhausted and stunned up by Brom. Seraph kicks a few out. Lyra on a killing spree. Envy just keep getting pickoffs. Yeah, and they have the tank lines, and Team Liquid is unable to pull away from this Baron trap. As long as Envy is tanking the turret with the people with lots of armor, they won't take much damage. It's going to be a little tricky here with Seraph being low, but he can teleport back in, and it would be a 5 before Lorlo's also going to try and stop it. Oh, uh, here we go. The ultimate could spell disaster here. Lolo going to set it up. Lyra attacked already. Oh, There's no. a shutdown for Lolo. Hookshot going to land. He finds Ninja for the stun, and double if gets a snipe. Now Hako is the next target. Lolo still leading a little too much damage on the front side as Seraph finally makes it back, but Jin snares up Apollo. Double if making this easy cleanup for Lolo. Hako goes down as well as Lolo grabs the double, and Seraph looks to be the final one left for the ace for Team Liquid. He's going to try and get a trade kill. Burns his flash to take out Rainover, but he's just dead here. Rainover barely going to make it out alive, and there's the ace for Team Liquid. Well, that got real bad real fast for Envy. It was looking good until Seraph was in base while they started the Baron. Envy needed the Poppy to frontline for them. Otherwise, everyone else can just get run down by that Camille, and that's what felt and shove it down some lanes. Yeah, and they have the Guardian Angel as well as the building <laughs> of a Giant's Belt in day. Oh, no, Matt! Matt, no! Not by Sarah, no! to Apollo, Team Liquid, why are you in Envy's jungle? Apollo ult on a double A for a bit of poke. Team Liquid had all the setup they needed. I know. Until...
ultimate, so that's a decent amount of counter engage gone if Team Liquid were to try another initiation, which they may as the Elder Drake is pulling in begin. Lolo trying to bait someone in. Hakuin now gonna get bursted down. Damage is there, not quite. Does finally get him, but I think Rainover. No, it didn't quite die. Making it close though is Lyra getting chased on by Piglet. As Piglet's just now gonna rampage through the back end of the fight. Double it, flashes over the wall. He already took out the Poppy. He wants to get Apollo as well. Team Liquid, a four for zero team fight win. And they have a minion wave in the top side. Only one person remaining, which is Apollo. Oh. Pretty good wave clear, but Matt's caught him. Uh, trying to lock him down, but Apollo should be able to seal the deal. Apollo goes down, there's the ace. And now the base gonna get broken. Yeah, and that was just Team Liquid removing Envy's counter-engage spells with the first engage, then pulling them into the Elder Drake with the second one, and getting the team fight they needed. Tim Liquid are gonna rush in for the game now. They break the top in here, but they're gonna take the Nexus turrets with the Envy. Still not up, five seconds left. Ohakuo can make it back in, but the damage is too much. Team Liquid will take the first Nexus and go up in the series versus Envy. All right, so the first win with this new Team Liquid roster comes against Envy in game one still have to be able to win the series. So a little bit of happiness from Team Liquid, but they still need to remain focused.